And it's time for the morning buzz. You know, Bill, I've actually had my uh, my home flooded sure. before. And, um, you it were is not a the complete... most pleasant person the day after. I, I, don't, think anybody I don't think anybody would be. would be happy with that. But, I mean, it could be a complete mess, and you just lose so many items along the way. And, and you know, especially in recent years, I know uh, insurance woes, that's become a big thing for Texas homeowners. So anything that anybody can do to kind of help ease that certainly will, will be much appreciated. And that's where this morning's guest comes in. This morning we're talking to Chad Roden. Chad is with Rainbow International Restoration and Cleaning. Good morning, Chad. How are you doing? Good morning. Pretty good. Well, <laughs> I'm sure everybody's at home saying, why is there a person with a garden hose spraying down a perfectly <laughs> nice house? We bring, we bring everybody, all of our trainees from all the different franchises around the United States and around the world in for the training of the house. Uh, we bring the hose in and we pump about a thousand gallons into the house and bring them in and teach them the different methods of how to do the water extraction and how to set up the equipment to dry it down more efficiently so we can save the insurance company money. Yeah, I was going to say, let's take one step back, Chad, and that is um, basically the service that your company offers. It's, it's I, I, I don't know what the technical term, but it helps someone dry out after, uh, after some type of water damage occurs to their home. I say we term it as rapid structural drying is what we term the technology that we use to dry down the homes. And I did notice that it, well, how many folks get involved in this? Because, I mean, watching the video here, it looks wild, but this really could make a big difference to a lot of homeowners. Uh, actually, it could, because uh, the premiums over the last couple of years have skyrocketing, and, and most of it's due to the amount of the, the claims coming in. And this will help us lessen the burden on the insurance company by saving their loss ratios by performing this rapid structural drying. And Chad, I want to take a look at your worker shoes back there. Those are nice. <laughs> oh, oh you have a pair of mine, too. So you want to make sure oh, you Oh, Jim does, too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to ruin your own items in the process of uh, watering this uh, home down. Well, no, uh, we're in the cleaning business, and so we want to make sure that we present a clean image <laughs> and we stay clean. <laughs> now, this, this really is awesome. And, and, Chad, we're looking forward to checking back with you in uh, just a matter of moments because, as we understand it, there are uh, many different surfaces in the home and that's intentional and also uh, we will save this as a surprise for the next time we check back but uh, y'all have done this quite a few times yeah I, this is going to be our 16th time on flooding this structure uh, bringing in classes to train them and, and still looking good so we'll, we'll get more information for homeowners like you said anybody who's ever just left a faucet running or, or anything that could use some help chad roan with rainbow international restoration we'll be seeing you in just a matter of moments And we're checking back in with the morning buzz. Uh, kind of been joking, but it really is a. I mean, it really is a lot of useful information this morning about you know what you do when your washing machine has a problem. You leave a faucet on. Your house floods for some reason. What can you do to kind of savor some of those items in there? Absolutely. Well, one of the first things you want to do is talk to our guest this morning. That's Mr. Chad Road, and Chad is with Rainbow International Restoration and Cleaning. Good morning, Chad. How are you? Good morning, fine. And I see we've moved from the dining area into the living room. And uh, again, your, your friend there with the hose is taking care of spraying down all the surfaces. And now, Julie, you brought up a really good, oh my word. Uh, Julie, you had brought up a really good question earlier, and that is, well, why don't you go ahead and ask it, Julie. I, I was talking to Bill about, you know, if this does happen to you, what's the first thing you should do with uh, your furniture? I guess my first thought would be to take it outside and try to let it dry out, but, but what should you do? What should be the, the, what's the first, like the protocol for when that happens? Well, the first thing you'd want to do, uh, since a lot of people, you know, aren't able to move their furniture out, you'd want to put, place tin foil underneath the legs where it comes in contact with the flooring. Uh, that would keep it from transferring any dyes from upholstered goods or any stain or any type of furniture finish uh, from the furniture to the carpets. And Chad, I'm sure a lot of people, in particular when you deal with, um, with carpet, think if it's flooded, it's just, it's just gone. I mean, there's no way that it's ever gonna, gonna come back to its original condition. Uh, can it be brought back to life? Absolutely. Uh, this carpet in this house has been flooded, like I said, 15, 16 times now. And we've brought it back to the same original condition each time. Uh, the carpet regains actually 110% of its strength once wet and dried out. Uh, this house, we've not put any special construction materials in it. It's all built to cold with just your normal construction means, um, your two fours, plywood subflooring. Um, built several different levels of it. Uh, none of this is easy to dry out, uh, but we do this so that we can show our franchisees the real world conditions. 
And I guess there are multiple surfaces in that home, am I correct, Chad? Uh, absolutely. We've got carpet, we've got ceramic tile, we've got some vinyl in the bathroom, we've got three-quarter inch tongue and groove plank in the kitchen area that we've flooded uh, and dried it back each time without peaking or anything to it as well. And Chad, something as simple as I noticed the teddy bear is getting it pretty bad this morning. I know my first thought would be the smaller items to throw out. You can actually save something as, you know, as small as a teddy bear? Absolutely. Uh, one thing that we try to do is pay attention to our customer's special needs. And of course, if Teddy there is sitting flooded, um, that's usually a good emotional thing there that we want to make sure that we get dried out and returned to a pre-loss condition. Absolutely. Well, we will. Um, this is very interesting and to know that there's this kind of technology where you don't have to just trash the whole house. Mm -hmm. We will be checking back in with Chad, the folks over at Rainbow International Restoration and Cleaning in just a matter of moments and find out more details how it can help homeowners throughout Central Texas. And we're checking back in with the morning buzz. This is definitely a first for the morning buzz. We are flooding a house this morning. Absolutely. Well, we are. And I don't want to, I don't want to take that burden on my shoulders, but we're talking to some experts who are flooding a home, and they're doing it to help you folks at home if you should ever experience some unwanted water inside your homes. We're joined this morning by Mr. Chad Roden, who is with Rainbow International Restoration and cleaning. Chad, good morning. Good morning. And uh, how's, how are things progressing out there at the house? Uh, getting a little bit wetter here. <laughs> well, I guess we wanted to talk to you because we, you showed us um, how you guys spray down the home. What is the next step here? Uh, next step would be for us to bring the franchisees in, show them how wet everything is, and then we go through with an extraction process uh, where we remove the bulk of the water and try to remove all the physical water we can before we start trying to evaporate it to the use of air movers and dehumidifiers. And Chad, how effective is this process? I mean, there are probably a lot of folks at home, anybody who's ever even done something as simple as spilled a glass of water on their carpet knows that it saturates in. How effective is this process in, in, in restoring everything? Uh, well, with the extraction tools we use, we're able to remove 90%, 92% of the free water in here, and so that only leaves us about 8% to evaporate. Um, so we're actually very successful with this method. And, and for folks at home that are, that are seeing this, and I mean, hopefully it's something, you know, nobody ever really wants to, to utilize this service. It typically means something probably unpleasant has occurred. But in their minds, uh, how effective is this, uh, well, I guess as compared to an insurance company coming in and just totaling out a house? Well, I say, as you saw us wetting down the contents and everything in here, the contents are typically dry within about 12 hours, uh, where you can actually sit on the contents. Uh, the rest of the structure, it takes us about 72 hours to get it completely dry. And so we keep the homeowners out of the house less. So we're actually very successful using this method versus the rip and gut method. And in